Hey folks, so I broke an axle at Plant Bamboo, which you may have seen if you are on the Patreon page. Um, and in that video, um, I was in some really thick mud and I broke an axle. You think, how did you break a factory axle without a lift kit, factory axle angles, and with a portal? Um, portals are supposed to save your axles, right? The answer is yes, most of the time. So the portal means that um, with the same amount of torque on the CV joint, you can put down with this portal um, almost twice as much torque at the wheel, or you can push the ground twice as hard, right? That's what wheels do. They push the ground that way and the vehicle goes that way. Newton's laws and all that. Um, so, so why did, why did this break? How did I break an axle at the portal? Well, the engine is still capable of outputting the same amount of torque as a factory machine. And if you get in thick enough mud where the tire comes to a complete stop almost, um, the portal's not helping you at that point, right? Because this is locked. Your engine's putting out the same torque. So that's the same as having your tires completely locked um, without portals. And if you have the wheel turned pretty hard in reverse, you can still break an axle. I proved that here. And ever since portals came out, the premium axles that are like seven, dollars $800, they don't make any sense anymore, right? You can get a OEM axle or a cheap aftermarket, um, like a Demon or a Rhino 2.0 or something like that. And it's usually good enough for most situations because you can put down so much torque to the ground that you usually don't break axles unless you're at full lock and reverse drunk in a truck pit. So that's why the axle broke. Um, so what do you have to remove to get the axle out? Well, because I have six inch portals, it's kind of a pain in the ass. Eight inch portals, this nut is high enough up where you don't have to remove all of this. So I had to remove the caliper. I had to remove, well, first the wheel, obviously. The wheel, the caliper, and the rotor, which is this big nut down here, and you see a bunch of dirt fell on my shaft, so I'm gonna clean that real good before I put it in there, but it is still nice and greasy, and that's key. I should have washed this before I started. Um, and now we get to the axle nut. These are those custom axle nuts, because remember, I'm running 2021 portals on a 2022. So I'm actually going to put a 2021 axle nut in here because I'm going to a 2021 Demon axle, which UPS should be dropping off any minute now. Um, so to, next step is to remove the axle nut. And then I can take this shaft out because I've already separated the axle. This joint broke and I just pulled the big outer clip on that inner axle so I can get the axle all the way and keep riding around in three wheel drive. And then I've got to get this axle out of here. Um, what I'm hoping, oh, nope, it's not going to work. So on some of these machines, the hole right here in your portal bracket is big enough to take the whole axle out. That's how my eight inch talon portals were. That hole is not going to be big enough to fit a demon cup through. So I'm actually gonna have to separate a ball joint. Sometimes you can just leave this back plate, remove the portal box, and slip your axle in through that hole. Just went ahead and separated the upper ball joint very easily, um, loosened the nut, took it down a few turns, smack right there, and then removed the nut the rest of the way. Uh, observation is that there is some gear oil leaking out of both of these seals. So, not great Super ATV. That's why my oil is probably a little milky, but I just changed them. Probably gonna change them again for the next ride. It looks like the seal is not sitting quite deep enough in the portal. You can kind of see how the lip is hanging off the edge. Super annoying. So I'm gonna get a punch and tap both these seals in a little deeper. Ugh, portal problems. So usually on these Hondas, the outer joint breaks, you just grab the shaft and snatch it out of the front diff. Because I had already deleted the shaft and threw it away, I couldn't do that. So I just put a pair of vice grips on there on the side of the cup, slide hammer right there, and just let that sit on the lip and it came right out. So pretty easy. Um, you could also get a pry bar back here if you wanted to try that. Um, you can put a pry bar on one side and smack the other side with a hammer. So pry it, rock. So when you pry here, rocks the joint that way, you smack it back that way, it comes right out. Um, this is just easy. Tried that first and it works. So that's out and I'm ready. As soon as my axle comes in, I'm ready to throw it in. I unhooked the bottom shock mount, swung the shock out, swung the upper control arm up, zip tied them together so they stay up out of the way. I'll take my new axle, stick it in the portal, swing it over, stick it in the diff, done deal. Don't forget to put your little spacer. This spacer goes right here on these Super ATV portals and uh, then put everything back together and it's good to go. Here's a good illustration of the differences between a 2021 Pioneer 1000 axle and a 2022. You see the hole is a lot bigger on the 22. So I'm gonna have to use my old axle nuts that came with the portals, not my custom ones. But yeah, they made the, they made the uh, threads fatter there, but the splines are the same. So not really sure why Honda changed that, but they did, whatever. 
Alright guys, it's here. The PAXL4032 HD. Whatever the fuck that means. I think that's the axle I ordered. Alright, let's see what we got in here. Ooh, pretty box. This thing should be beef. Oh yeah. Way beefier than the stock one. To give you some kind of comparison. <laughs> These demons are so huge for the price. It is completely insane. Yep, I won't be breaking this one. I'll probably break the other one now. Very pretty heavy axle, super tough boots. That's what I love about these things. They're OEM style boots. So it's not like you're gonna upgrade your axle and then ruin it as soon as the boot tears with contamination. These are also double plunging for the Pioneer 1000. That's super cool. If you ever wanna do like a lift, I could lift this thing a lot higher and get a lot more travel than the factory axles that are in the trash can because these are double plunging. So if I was gonna do the um, Armac shock conversion, which I'm still waiting on by the way, they're back ordered, this axle will help me get some more travel out of the front. I'll have to put one on the other side too soon. But I'm kind of in a rush, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in there. One thing to remind you guys is always grease your, your shaft before inserting into the rear end or the portal box in this case. Grease the crap out of this because that's what keeps the splines alive. That seal doesn't do anything for the spline. So you gotta grease it really good with some thick red grease right there. Guys, real quick, I was able to sneak the axle in by just removing the upper ball joint. It's in the diff, it's in there, and it can handle some crazy angles now that it's double plunging. The trick is to turn the wheels all the way to the left if you're doing the right axle and vice versa. That puts the, uh, that puts the tie rod all the way out and lets the portal fall down far enough to give you enough room to get the axle in the diff. So I put it in the portal first and then I stuck it in the diff. Now I just gotta bolt it back together and she's ready to go. So this is kind of interesting. Um, because it's double plunging, you can drop it down a lot more. And I checked it, it's not binding it. The axle shaft isn't contacting the outer or inner cup. That's because the axle shaft's floating so it can find the best spot in between to drop to a more extreme angle. That's a pretty serious upgrade compared to uh, that <laughs> good mod for cheap um, and I like these axles because they don't rebuild them if you use the warranty they just send you a new one you don't have to worry about any wear that happened when your boot tore and you got sand in the joint or whatever just throw a new one on there it's a lot uh, a lot more convenient and premium and quicker turnaround time you're not waiting for the axle to get rebuilt oh yeah all right guys there you have it you can put a 2021 axle in a 2022 pioneer you just have to change the axle nut no big deal which gives you a lot more options because there's not a ton out for the 2022. Um, if you want to do Demon Axles, obviously I'm sponsored by them. There's a promo code in the description of the video and on the title page. Um, I've been running them for a long time and then they gave me this promo code. So if you use my promo code, I get a little bit of a kickback. That's how it works. That's how I try to do most of my sponsorships. That way it's, you know, I can track how many people use my promo code and it's pay to play kind of deal. Um, but I do really like these axles. I've had good luck with them. Um, I like the boots better than a lot of the premium axles. They're pretty much indestructible. I mean, these shafts are huge compared to the stock ones. I never broke any of these on my YXZ. Um, so I've been really happy with them. And um, their website's gotten better. So they're starting to make more and more axles. They will have axles out for the 2022s eventually. But honestly, getting that nut isn't that big of a deal to me. So I'll probably run all four um, 2021 axles on here. But uh, yeah, good upgrade. And the biggest thing you know is that they're double plunging. Um, it's probably the only axle in that price range that's double plunging that I know of, especially if you use the 15% off Mud Puppy promo code down in the description. Very easy to change that, even with the portal. Um, I could have done that whole job in 25 minutes, maybe 30 minutes. All right, I just gave her a little test run in the pond, as you can see. Got it totally buried with the back end, locked it in four wheel drive, diff lock low, and let the front bounce and eat. Everything feels very solid, so. I think the install is pretty good. Of course, I'm gonna check the torque on the ball joint I had to remove, which was just the upper, but everything looks really solid. Always check that your axle's fully seated into the diff, which it is. I think we're good to go. Boots look good, there's no grease coming out anywhere. Ready for holopaw tomorrow. 